Hey, hi, how you doing, baby? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. So, let's spy on your boo. I sh had a bunch of already written out, like, love notes, messages, love letters. Uh, we got songs. We got, like, some thought message cards from my DIY deck. And we have advice from spirit. So, let's dive deep and let's see what's going on with your bae, your boo, Whoever is closest to having the key to your heart, baby, take a moment, connect with your intuition, see which one of these cards here calls to you most. I have six piles today. Oh, my bell is. Hold on one second. ancestors and guides, mother, God, father, God, and highest self. Please help me connect now with the divine energy and help me to bring clear, accurate information forward for the viewers today. Anything that's dark or negative can leave now. In loving peace. Amen. Blessed be. It is so. It is done. Hello, group number one, baby. So, Let's see what I'll have here. Oh, this is the angel advice for after. Let's start with the song card. I love your girl by the dream. Something very special about a man who can sing. I just, I love the dream. Chris Calico. Uh, I mean, amongst many others, but... Okay, so the lyrics are Little Mama So Hood, I Love Your Girl, Little Mama Stay Fly, Wife Beater with the Denim, She Keep Them Heels on High, Man Look at Shorty Roll, Man Look at Shorty Go, Go, Go. I'm Sorry I Got It In For Your Girlfriend. So maybe you're with somebody else, or maybe you're somebody else's wife too, with this wife beater. For your girlfriend, ah. denim too. Something so that you might have posted like a photo recently in denim or something. Denim jacket, denim pants, denim dress, uh, denim purse. I don't know. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, someone's got a crush on you, and you might be with someone else. You're just going to have to, um, I mean, a, mess, the, a majority of the messages should, should resonate. Otherwise, you can check out another pile. But you might have to switch genders or kind of, like, switch. Sometimes energy is mirrored, so. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this is, too. So I wrote these out a while ago. I had them in there. They're, I think they're love messages on here. Um, but there was exactly six, and I had six piles, so I just shuffled them out and put one in each group. I'm not taking another path because I don't want you. I'm choosing me first. Not because I don't want you, but because... Okay, so double emphasis on that. They want you! <laughs> Not because I no longer, or you want them, not because I no longer want to carry around, because I no longer want to carry around the hurt, anger, and resentment from always putting myself last. This is the season of me. I'm sorry if the celebration of I makes you feel inadequate, but that is your own issue. The damnedest thing is once you're no longer... My first priority, you assume it's another man or woman. Let's do the love letter now. Shorty, I for your girlfriend. I don't look at this, I have a time, I have no idea what's in here. I envision you holding my face in your hands as you kiss me. 
The softness of your lips combined with the firmness and the amount of pressure is exciting. I love you and I want to express it in a physical way. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'm hearing Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Sexual healing. Oh, let's get it on. Let's love, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If the depth of my love for you need be matched in intimate physical expression, I may need more time than I'm allowed. Would you let me have forever with no guarantee of how long it'd be? One week, 50 years, or somewhere in between? Could I be satiated with one more kiss? Oh, sorry. I'd be lying to myself to think I'd take anything less than having your kids or having kids with you. Let me grow a family with you, entangle our roots, support each other, it, it support each other's growth in an abundant garden that's blissful and divine. Almost like heaven on earth. I wonder what visions of us dance inside your mind. Yours truly. So a lot of um, like fa fantasy, a lot of um, like um, a 5D connection or just spending a lot of time... Uh, I don't know if it's scared to actually put it into action, but overthinking and just fantasizing and that can be not fair though. You know, when somebody has this like ideal of you, this fantasy of you holds you on a pedestal and they never, um, you know, it's more like in their head than in the 3D or whatever. It's just it's the energy I'm feeling from that. Okay, so you guys might be separated. Because it says, I'm not taking another path. So not on the same path right now. Let's take a look. These are some more of their secret thoughts about you. 707 was on the clock. If you're new here, baby, I just shout out angel numbers. If you want, go into your search engine. Type in angel number 707. Uh, if you resonate with like a twin flame journey, you could look up twin flame uh, number 707. Soulmate number 707. Or just angel number 707. Uh, numerology. Uh, meaning 707 that drip that swag that pimp juice that milkshake my milkshake thing that I might send the yard I think I need to let her loose let her loose she only want me for my pimp juice so um maybe you or them has a lot of you know Pimp juice, swag, game, whatever. All the fun we had together. So a lot of reminiscing energy. Thinking about how, okay, uh, I'm. it's bad baby. Can't nobody do it like me. Do it like this. Do it like me. Do it like this. And it's got the um, beat for come on ride the train and ride it choo doo dee come on it's a choo choo train if you feel like dancing come on it's up to you you got the sound to get the yeah damn damn <laughs> so uh, either the lyrics for either one of those I don't know if that song is choo doo dee come on ride a train and ride it it's a choo choo train that or um bad baby. And I don't even know what it's called. Do it like me. Do it like this. I don't know. There could be more uh, information in the lyrics for you if you want to check that out. For a fun time, not a long time. Okay. Well, let's see if there's a little more. Because I have a feeling like in the beginning, this person didn't think they were going to like fall this hard. Or have this many feelings invested or whatever. It was supposed to be a fun time, not a long time. I like the way you talk. Yeah, something about like your, like your lingo, your, the slang you use, the way you talk, the way you walk, your energy. We have much in common. I heard two peas in a pod. <laughs> you are the baddest. Who's bad? Ba -na 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 -na. 
Nah, nah. When I was a kid, my uncle used to have this uh, Sega Genesis game. It was a Michael Jackson game. And he was looking for Annie. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? But uh, when he like leveled up and got real bad, that monkey jumped on his shoulder, that chimp or whatever. <laughs> Who's bad? Nah, nah. And he like throw his hat. Something you said really rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. So they're mad about something you said, hurt about something you said. I feel like you checked them and they did not like it because they are not used to it. <laughs> Can we just make out already? A kiss and make up? <laughs> I want to get next to you. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, so this person's a little bit arrogant. <laughs> And uh, they think you lost out on a good thing. But I can read energy and feel energy. So, like, you know, both of you are a good thing. There's a reason both of you were, like, drawn to each other, you know. Um, there's a lot of the feeling of, like, being polar opposites, but also a lot of like. And could this work? This probably could work. And I feel like both parties think that so I don't really know exactly what's going on um but both of you are like I'm a prize and I don't know we can't even be mad at it because it's it could be the truth you know sometimes people need to like maybe uh too much pride too much pride going on or something okay group one let's jump into the angelic advice then so we have affirmation cards and we have these angel romance oracles from doreen virtue so let's see what spirit has to say free yourself it's time to take back control of your life from codependency so free yourself from codependency addiction being addicted to each other treating love uh treating a person like they're your drug or that you know they complete you or uh using a person to make yourself feel good to 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 because that's nobody's job to make you feel good but your own right i mean we're not gonna be mad when people do things that are funny and uplifting and, and but you don't need to depend on it nobody should be depending on anybody to do that they shouldn't be depending on you uh to complete them and vice versa somebody could have like um substance addictions you know be an addict so you might need to free yourself from them because of their codependency or their dependency on drugs, on substances. But um, really, it's just kind of like a toxic love. And even if it's not a toxic love or a toxic person, and I just said 1313 on the clock. So angel number 1313. Um, like it's a toxic dynamic so you would have to take accountability for your part in it 1331 which are mirrored numbers and 333 your love your love your love is my drug there could be something in the lyrics um to that song i know it's kesha i don't know if it's called love is my drug or i don't know <laughs> but if you want to go and search for it if you know the name for it you can look that up i don't have the copyright for any of the songs i sing <laughs> Um, okay, so your affirmations that you should focus on, baby. Today I am capable. Today I will accomplish every goal that I set for myself. Amen. Taking care of business every day. Today I am in charge. I am in control of how I feel. Nobody can make me feel any other way than happy. Yeah, happiness is a choice. Okay, that is all the time I have for today. If the message is resonated, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye-bye. Hello, group number two. How are you doing, darling? 
Okay, let me see. I did pre-shuffle to save time, and actually, um, it's going a lot longer than I thought, so... This is angelic advice for the end. Let's spy on your boo-boo. I have a channeled love note or letter here. We have a song to kind of pick up on the vibes they're feeling right now. And then these, there were six of them. These are, I think are like love, just love messages from a previous reading. And I have six piles today, so I shuffled them out. Let's start with this for your group. Oh, I'm talking to some of your friends. I think it's to get information on you more than like hitting on your friends or whatever. Like, I don't think they have interest in dating your friends. I think they want to just get the inside scoop on you. The song, Love and Touch and Squeezing Journey. You make me weep and want to die. Just when you said we'd try. Loving, touching, squeezing each other when i'm alone all by myself you're out with someone else loving touching squeezing each other you're tearing me apart every every day you're tearing me apart oh what can i say you're tearing me apart okay so again like third party energy maybe dating other people maybe dating your friends maybe talking to your friends but maybe more so to get under your skin or for control, or to like have information on you, access to you, which is bleh. I mean, I feel like just ignore it or whatever. I mean, if they're really your friends, would they be dating the person closest to your heart? Probably not, <laughs> you know? So I would say if it was a situation where this person is trying to make you jealous or something and talking to your friends because of that, you don't need them. And your friends that would entertain that, you don't need them. Let's go into your channel letter, group two. When I'm alone, all by myself, you're out with someone else. Odd little weirdo, kooky, quirky you, strange yet familiar, I can see myself in you. Eclectic, eccentric style dripping to the floor Ben. okay i'm getting like wednesday adam vibes <laughs> bend down and wipe it up so i can watch some more i like the way you move me 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 cosplay angel strutting around the room please put on some stockings share with me your gloom yeah wednesday adams <laughs> gothic trendy angsty grunge if you say that I can have you, I'd get my ass to run. So this person might not be in like the best physical shape, or they might not like to run. They could have asthma. <laughs> asthma. Manic pixie dream girl. Will I catch a break? Will you let me call on you and take you on a date? Let's be different together, but under the same roof. If not daily, then in the evenings, would you let me lay with you? I like the way you move. Mm -mm. Okay, so these are some more of their secret thoughts about you, group two. I promise if you give me one night, I will rock your world. <laughs> I'm hearing We Will We Will Rock You by Queen um, Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages! <laughs> So somebody could have like grew up in the 80s maybe or likes 80s music. I'm miserable. Can't help myself. How does it feel? Light up and watch our troubles turn to ashes. Yeah. Is it self-explanatory or do I need to go into this? <laughs> Smoke two joints in the morning. Smoke two joints at night. Oh, for some more lessons. Smoke two joints in the afternoon. It makes me feel alright. Smoke two joints in time of peace and two in time of war. Smoke two joints, boy. Smoke two joints and then I smoke two more. So somebody could smoke a lot. Being able to create new memories. I just want to spend time together. And smoke together. 
maybe drink together. And then they just pray that maybe the vibes are right, everything's feeling right, then you might let them have the opportunity to rock your world. <laughs> I just want to move on. I don't think from you, I think from whatever's going on here or whatever the issue is. I'm eternally grateful for our bond and the time we spent together. Two shy kids falling in love. 222 on the clock. So angel number 222, if you want to go into your search engine and check that out, baby. Uh, if you were, say, you resonate with like a twin flame journey, then you could look up twin flame 222, angel number 222, whatever. Whatever have you. Okay. Talking to some of your friends. So you see how there's nothing. I just want to move on. But... The, being able to create new memories with you. So they sort of move on from whatever the blockage is. You think you're two shy kids falling in love. They're eternally grateful for everything you taught them, everything you did for them. They want to teach each other more. They're miserable or lost without you. They want to rock your world and they want to schmuck with you. 2112 and 111, angel members. Love and touch and squeeze in. Two, two, two again. You make me weep. So this person's crying over you. Okay, and actually like severe depression too with this and want to die. Just when you said we try. So this person like maybe had an impression that you guys were going to like give it a try or something. And then you backed out or nothing ever happened of it. And you're going out with other people and they feel like alone or lonely. Love and touching, squeezing each other, and you're tearing me apart. Well, they say it three times. So not only does it say, oh, what can I say? I feel like, oh, how many times do I have to say it? You're fucking tearing me apart. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It won't be long until you're alone when your lover is out there with someone else. Love and touching, and squeezing. Another. Okay, let's jump in now. Two, two, two on the clock again. Let's jump into this angel advice for you, group two. So from the angel romance oracles from Doreen Virtue, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Mm -mm -mm -mm. heart-to-heart -heart conversations you need to honestly discuss your feelings with each other so there maybe there never was like honest communication here and your affirmations today i am brave i will step up to every challenge with courage put them up put them up <laughs> that's from wizard of oz the cowardly lion Today I move forward. I see each obstacle as an opportunity to learn and grow. You didn't take an, take an L. It wasn't a failure. It wasn't a loss. It was a learning experience. So as long as you can do some inner reflection and learn the lesson, then you're not going to have to, you're not going to be stuck in a toxic cycle or keep having to repeat it. Okay, baby, I hope the messages resonated with you. If they did, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber yet. I love you so much, and until next time, bye-bye. When I'm alone, all by myself. Hi, group number three. How are you doing, darling? So I pre-shuffled to save some time. Uh, I'm just going to put the angelic advice or affirmations aside. So I have a channeled love note, love letter, poem. I have a song, some secret thoughts of theirs about you, and 
whatever this pink card is. So I think these are just love mess, not more love messages. So this one's probably a channel letter or poem, and this is just a little message that fit in a note card. So there was exactly six. I have six piles, so I shuffled them out. Let's start with that today for you. Oh, okay. So this is from She's All That. Am I a bet? Am I a fecking bet? Well, you're a cliche. You're a fecking cliche. Okay, so maybe you could have <sighs> not been careful with uh, how you're talking with your friends, your homies, your homegirls, your boys, uh, and said like, I bet I can hit it, but well, whatever, something like that, you know? And this person found out, or it's on to you, they know that you were playing games and that they were a bet. Uh, it kind of has that like betrayal and uh, element to it. So regardless of and if you really bet something, this person found out that you were saying, you know, you like clowned on them, disrespected them, made them seem like a joke or a game. You know, five, five, five was just on the clock group three. I'm just going to shout out angel numbers. If you're new here, baby, if you want to, you can go on your search engine, type in angel number five, five, five. Say you resonate with like a twin flame journey or... Uh, soulmate journey you can type in soulmate number 555 uh, angel number 555 twin flame number 555 whatever it's gonna actually be different for everybody too like depending on like your location and your search engine and all that good stuff so okay well let's look at the song kiss the girl keith urban to kiss and tell is just not my style but the night is young and it's been a while. And she broke my heart, broke it right in two. And it's fixing time, but I'm feeling like I'm finally ready to find, find someone new, somebody new. Hmm. Kissing and telling. And am I a bet? Am I an effing bet? So it could have been just uh, sharing someone's photos, intimate tags, uh, just sharing intimate details about your relationship or they're sharing intimate details about you that they shouldn't be sharing or something you know it's an abc conversation or whatever <laughs> uh it's an ab conversation they should see their way the hell out of it um or not appropriate i just heard not appropriate not appropriate <laughs> it's not appropriate okay and it's fixing time, but I feel like I'm finally ready to find, find someone new. So we have this kind of element of, um, what do they call that? Uh, bounce back keeps coming to mind, but that's not what I mean. Uh, a rebound, a bounce back, <laughs> a rebound. And I'm hearing, um, you keep bouncing me against the wall. Who sings that? Keep bouncing me against the wall. Oh my gosh. Um, he also is in Look At Me Now and Exhibit. I think it's Exhibit. Bounce bounce me against the wall or bouncing me against the wall. I don't know. There could be something in the lyrics if you want to check those out. Maybe there could be additional messages for you. Now, there's like this rebound energy, fix in time. Something needs to be fixed. I'm finally ready to find, find someone new. So there's like rebound energy. The night is young and it's been a while. She broke my heart. So this person could have like, it could have been a while since this person actually separated from somebody else. And maybe they just kind of like prolonged their healing, put off their healing, jumps into new things, new bets or tasks, or, you know, they could have like a list. You could be somebody on their list, their to-do list or something like that. Gross. Okay, let's take a look at the channel love letter or the poem, whatever this is in here. I don't know. I shuffled them up. I've, I've used these before, so these are not new, but I mean, I did shuffle them up and they should be good more than once, right? <laughs> I don't need to hear you say it. I see it in your eyes. They give me confirmation, caught you looking at my thighs. Windows to the soul or mirrors reflecting light. Scattered fragments, shattered dreams, the things that give us fright. Beautiful broken pieces, diffracting and refracting, projecting gleaming rays, revealing the blessings hidden in the darkest of my days. Thank you for rejecting me. It empowered me to see the truth. Love through lessons. Hmm. 
we will come back to this because I'm not, not picking up anything right now from it. To kiss and tell, my bet. And then, um, this, I mean, this could be your energy too. This doesn't have to be from them. Energy is mirror. And we even talk about mirrors in here too. You could be mirroring each other's energy. Windows to the soul or mirrors reflecting light. What you what you like in yourself that you see in this person or vice versa. Scattered fragments, shattered dreams. Okay. Dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. The things that give us fright, beautiful broken pieces, diffracting, reflecting, projecting, gleaming rays, revealing the blessings hidden in the darkest of my days. Hmm. Let's go into some more of their secret thoughts about you. Let's see if we can get some more insight then on what's going on here. I feel like regardless on if you had that heart-to-heart -heart conversation or talked about it, it's like... I don't know. I mean, I wrote it so I can resonate with it. Uh, I don't know if I, everyone can. I feel like there's a, a look people give you. <laughs> it's a... Uh, um, I'm in love with you. You're the one that got away. It, it, there's a look. So. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, it's like if you've seen this look in their eyes or if they said they could see it in your eyes or something like that, you should leave it in the comments, baby. I love the tea. No, I love you guys uh, letting me know how it resonates with you. That's really awesome. And thank you everyone who participates in like my polls and um, yeah, commenting, liking, all that stuff. I love you. Sex magic and love spells. This person could feel like you put a spell on them or something. I put a spell on you. I'm angry or frustrated about what? Because you're mine. Might be fun at a party but can't handle real life. I'm not used to this level of passion. It's almost too much. Never met anybody like you before. Oh no, they're they're like bitter. <laughs> Speed off a cliff going 100 miles an hour and choking a chicken bone. Hmm. We're just gonna hide this on him. Run my fingers through your hair. I don't like that. That's not in focus. I've thought of you every day since before the pandemic. So we got, we have like anger, bitterness, resentment, um, unexpressed feelings. Maybe obsession. Three, three, three on the clock. Am I sabotaging again? Did I ruin this? Um, or they want to know too. Like I think I feel like they're reflecting and they think that they did some sabotaging and some pushing you away. Maybe thinking you're gonna chase them or run after them or declare love to them or whatever's like. Not that it's mature or whatever. I don't, it doesn't even feel like it was even expressed because it said I can see it in your eyes. I don't need to hear it. I see it in your eyes. So I already know that you're in love with me. And this person might be like, well, yeah, but did you put a spell on me? <laughs> Am I sabotaging again? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. So I do have some angel advice for your situation. Group three. So let's just jump in. Let's look at the angel romance oracles by Doreen Virtue and see what your angelic team has to say. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And also be careful of like negative thoughts. So not focusing on what could go wrong, but what we actually want to go right or how we want it to go three four five on the clock it's about taking steps three four five and now six and seven and eight let's keep going <laughs> could be something about eight steps or eight 
things to do or something. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life very soon. And I keep hearing, I want to get next to you something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Today I feel optimistic. I will see the beauty and goodness in the hearts of every person I interact with. Okay, so Spirit saying like, not only is Spirit saying like, yes, yeah, so let's focus on like the positive too and the good, the good things that this person can bring to the table or the good things this person has done or whatever, how they've positively affected your life. Um, not only that, but where, where are we going with this, Spirit? <laughs> Today I will see the beauty and goodness in the hearts of every person I interact with. Okay, I, I don't know, but there's like kind of two messages. One about like just keeping your thoughts optimistic so that you can manifest like what you want to happen instead of what you're fearing. And also, um, oh, they, okay, this is where we're going. They and Spirit both want you to give them the grace or be graceful when you are assessing them, when you are judging them, when you are reflecting on them or y'all situation. Because this person might have like some wounding or something. What was her song? Keith Urban. Oh yeah. I'm finally ready to try again. Okay. So this person's trying to heal. Uh, and maybe it sounds like the last heartbreak. You know, not that they haven't dated anybody or anything, but not, like, of your caliber, degree. Uh, so something about showing, like, grace and being positive and focusing on good things. This person's good qualities, your good qualities. Uh, we're not asking you to ignore red flags or anything. They're not asking you to ignore red flags or anything like that. I don't want people hijacking my voice, spirit. <laughs> you tell me what to say. You don't just say it. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Today, I will not compare. I will not compare myself to others. I will find true peace in my own life. Okay, so not only are we going to be overly, like, we're not going to be overly judgmental towards them we're gonna have like some grace and some kindness some compassion and we're gonna do that for ourselves and we're not comparing ourselves to other people there's a reason that we're not all the same we come in all different shape sizes personalities uh, so no more comparing and we're gonna stay positive all right, group number three, I hope the messages resonated with you today. That's all the time that I have. Uh, if they did and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe or like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it fits your story or what's going on. I love you so much. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm. Hi, group number four, darling. How are you doing? So I did pre-shuffle cards to save some time. We'll save the angelic advice or affirmations for last. This is going to be a channeled love letter or a poem. I have some of their secret thoughts towards you lately. Here's another love note. It's a shorter one that fits on a little note card. So there were six of them from a previous reading. I had six piles today, so I just shuffled them out. So we got two messages, a song, their secret thoughts, and advice. So ready to spy on Boo Boo, group number four? Let's just jump in. So what is this? Pretty much over it already. I think we're going to need a little more information about that. What's the channel song? Just a Kiss by Lady Antebellum. Just a shot in the dark that you just might be the one I've been waiting for my whole life. So baby, I'm all right with just a kiss. Good night. I know that if we give this a little time, it'll only bring us closer to the love we want to find. It's about taking it kind of like light hearted, very slow Taurus energy, tortoise energy. <laughs> 
really slow. It was only a kiss. I don't know if is that the same person. And then one on there. It was only a kiss. It was only. Uh, oh boy, who sings that? Oh, I lost it now. My bad. If you did recognize that song, you could look up the lyrics. There's probably additional messages in there. Okay, let's see what the love letter or poem says. You are a stunning vision with a heart of gold. Strong, brave, and virtuous. A beacon of hope. A light in, the, in a world. I almost said the world. A light in the world ruled by darkness. Um, so you could have maybe lived on other worlds with this person? In the star seed energy or something? If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. Just let it fly, baby. But for those who know, no. <laughs> A beacon of hope, a light in a, in a world ruled by darkness. The star, so yeah, star beings. The star that inspires all that know her, or him, doesn't matter. You have a beautiful mind, body, and soul. I want to pamper you, spoil you with a life of luxury and comfort. It could be nurturing. It could just be they want to give you empress energy if you're masculine or something like that. To give you the stability and safety. Well, this is, this is... This is like emperor daddy energy too, though. <laughs> Which women can embody. Amen. 41, 41 on the clock. You may have been denied in your early years. So when you were a kid, maybe had a rough upbringing. I want to do what no one else could do for you. I will celebrate you for who you truly are and allow you to share, shine your light and share your light with the world, into the world for all who need it. I want everyone to know you, to see you, and to hear you because you are pure, unadulterated love and the entire world needs you. Love, not another selfish lover. And with this unadulterated, maybe you have an ex-husband, you're married in the past or something. So when it's saying not another selfish lover, then it would be not that ex-spouse, ex-selfish spouse, or yourself, so yourself, your selfish spouse. <laughs> all right let's let's look at a couple more of the um secret thoughts i've been having about you hear the truth without fear be willing to acknowledge and express your emotional experiences and allow others to do the same so this could be something they're thinking about you but this could also be um things they're thinking about like self-reflecting that do they're doing on themselves so that they need to be able to be, hear the truth without being afraid or they don't they don't need to be afraid to hear the truth and do they want to know the truth or not <laughs> or do you want to know the truth or not uh be willing to acknowledge and express be willing to so it's not that they can't it's just they are not willing to or you are not your emotional experiences and allow others to do the same give them the time give them the space to do so they're thinking about the pet name the nickname the nicknames Specifically that you called them, but it could be that they called you. What'd you call them? Sugar tits? What was it? What was it? Baby. Boo boo. Handsome. What was it? Okay. Oh my gosh. I just heard um from Jay and Silent Bob and this. Well, it's going to be an 18 up reading, but even so, it's still, like, what was it? Boo boo kitty fuck or something like that? I don't know, but I heard it. <laughs> Your adoration, maybe they miss you adoring them. Yeah, they miss your love. They miss you loving on them. 444 four, four on the clock. You will not break me, nothing can break me. You will not break me. Um, Sia Elastic Heart. There could be messages in there that resonate with you. I don't own a copyright to that song. I'll give you something to talk about. 4433. Have I met my match? 444. 4444. Okay, they're feeling remorseful. Or they're wondering if you're feeling remorseful. Four, four, five, five. I need rest and recuperation. 
Somebody could be sick or something. Healing. I'm getting like healing, rest. Uh, winter too. And it, well, it is winter right now when I'm recording, but this is a timeless reading. But uh, something about uh, maybe it's maybe the cold or the flu. Um, but maybe like hibernation. Maybe a lot of sleeping, rest. You know, a a transformative state. You know, before before the spring, before the rebirth. So, okay, now I have some angelic advice, but let me just look at this one more time. They're feeling remorseful. I'm wondering if you're feeling remorseful, but it is a time of transformation, and there might be this hibernation stage, whether it's you or them. Needing my match. Pretty much over it already. It will not break me. I'll give you something to talk about. Hear the truth. Oh, so they think you've been lying on them, lying about them, willing to acknowledge and express your emotional experiences and allow others to do the same. Hmm. They miss your love. They miss the pet names, the nicknames. It was just a shot in the dark that you just might be the one I've been waiting for my whole life. Okay, this also kind of has this, um, you might be the one I've been waiting for. So it's more about, not just about you, but trying to fill this role. So you have to be careful with that kind of energy, right? So baby, I'm all right with just, so they want to go slow though, because they don't want to rush and love bomb. So that's healthy, right? With just a kiss goodnight. I know that if we give this a little time, We didn't have time pop up anywhere else. We have rest and recuperation, feeling remorseful. Have I met my match? Time. Could be something about like divine timing or something about time. It'll only bring us closer to the love we want to find. We found love in a hopeless place, I just heard. We found love in a hopeless place. Okay. Well, let's see what... The angelic advice is from spirit then on your situation. For group four. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Funny how both these little cherubs are behind the head or at the crown chakra. Spirits at the crown chakra. Um, and we have three people in each photo also in kind of a similar pose here. Deception and let your friends help. Somebody's friends could have been deceptive in here or something. Somebody's friends could be lying. I said mutual friends or some kind of a blockage from like a friend group or something. Ask for and accept support from others. This person could be asking their friends for advice and they're getting bad advice or their friends are liars. Their friends are not looking like out for their best interest. Friends are fake. <laughs> We're in a false self mask. Or they want to deceive them or something like that. Hmm. In a hopeless place. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the affirmation cards say. Today I will not be critical. I will not be critical of my appearance or actions. I am perfect the way I am. Amen. Today I am calm. My mind is open and I am at peace with who I am. Because you're perfect. You don't need to change. It's not you, it's them, baby. Or your friends, someone's friends, their friends, your friends. You fucked up friends. <laughs> okay, I hope the message is resonating. That's all I have the time I have today for you guys. I love you so much. If you're not a subscriber of me vibe, please subscribe, hit the like button. You can always leave me comments, let me know how it resonated. I love reading the comments. Until next time, bye bye.
Hello, group number five, baby. How are you doing? So I did pre-shuffle so we could save a little bit of time and I'm running way over. I have angelic advice for the end, but we're going to spy on Boo Boo, the one closest to your heart or having the key to your heart. This is going to be a channeled love letter or message. We have a song. We have some more of their secret thoughts about you. And then these were some love notes. So you actually have two. You have like a love letter and a love note too love messages so we can kind of get the vibe what they're thinking and then some advice for you so let's just jump right in this one says i'm not that into you but maybe i could be maybe this person doesn't know themselves or what the hell they want five 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 on the clock and five here so change big change 5101 angel number or 101 Five one oh one. And then we're gonna save this. Let's not let's not be too quick. Let's not be too hasty. I'm not that into you, but maybe I could be. Hmm. Or maybe this person is not honest too. Let's see. Somebody that I used to know. How do you say that name? Gautier? <laughs> is that the artist? Gautier? Somebody that I used to know. But you didn't have to cut me off, make out like it never happened, and that we were nothing. And I don't even need your love, but you treat me like a stranger, and that feels so rough. You didn't have to stoop so low, have your friends collect your records, and then change your number. I guess that I don't need that, though. And now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody that I used to know. Somebody. Let's see what the love letter says or the love poem. Okay, dream walker. So this person's been dreaming about you like a lot, like often. Dreamwalker, stay up out my dreams. If you can't meet me in 3D, then bish, just let me be. Talk, always talking, liar, you just straight deceit. Fantasizing cowards, it comes to stalking in 5G. And this could be your energy too, guys. This could be like mirrored. So this, it doesn't have to be exactly them. It just could be kind of how you're feeling, which maybe they're aware of in tune with five 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 on the clock Vanti <laughs> okay let's start over dream walker stay about my dreams if you can't meet me in 3d then bish just let me be talk always talking liar you just straight deceit fantasizing coward succumbs to stalking in 5g demonic agent i ain't one to feed lower vibrations i just ain't got no need I don't want you near my circle. Oh boy. I'll call corners. You count sheep. So stay asleep. Ancient ancestors, please protect me. Please guardian angel energetically disconnect me from this creep. Okay, so there could be kind of like spiritual stalking going on. Maybe they're like all up in your energy or you're up all like they're just sick of thinking about you. They don't want to think about you anymore. They can't escape you. Maybe you're in their dreams. And, and like I said, this 5353, five, uh, 555. Five. This could be like mirrored. You could be feeling this way or they could be feeling this way. A lot of dreaming maybe about each other or they're dreaming about you all the time or you're dreaming about them. Coward, stalking, dem demonic. So demonic is just a lower vibrational or uh, it's just, it's, um, what do they call that? To choose to have an absence of life to uh, almost like they're, they disconnect themselves or whatever. Hmm. Fantasizing cowards that comes to stalking in 5D. Demonic agent. I ain't one to feed. Don't give them their energy. Don't give them your energy. Uh, or they're not giving you any energy. Lower vibrations. I just ain't got no need. I don't want you in my inner circle. I'll call corners. You count sheep. Ancient ancestors. Please protect me. Um, so this is your boo-boo. <laughs> this is as closest to your heart. 
I'm not that into you, or maybe I could be. This person's confused or doesn't know what they want. They want you to stay away. They don't want you in their circle. Somebody that I used to know. You didn't have to do me like that. You didn't have to make out like this never happened and that we were nothing. I don't need your love, but you treat me like a stranger. I think it's worse than a stranger. I feel like they feel like they've been treated badly or you feel like you've been treated badly. And that feels so rough. I didn't, you did not have to stoop so low. Have your friends collect your records and change your number. Well, it could have been have your friends uh, attack them, prank call them, set up fake accounts to mess with them. Um, I don't know, exchange words with them. Something about getting your friends involved, though. You're going to have to tell your friends, even if it's just sharing each other's business or whatever, five, 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 five on the clock. I guess that I don't need that, though. You're just somebody that I used to know. Okay, well, this by far is, like with all these messages, is um, like a very disconnect or whatever. You know what I mean? Trying to, even if it's not, even if there is obsessive energy or dreaming or thinking about each other too much or something, there's still like a want, a, a want or a need to disconnect. Creep. Uh... So if anyone's curious to like your ancient, ancient ancestors, your guardian angel, your angels are protecting you, are divinely protected, or they are from you, <laughs> or what have you. But um, yes, divine protection. I don't feel like there's any, that like, this person wants to harm you or anything like that. I just feel like a lot of anger though. So either you or them are very upset and doesn't want you near them right now for some reason. I don't know. Let's see what some more of their secret thoughts are about, about you. Caught in a whirlwind. Hmm. I know you lied. They're thinking about how this connection is being watched over by the divine or, you know, there was, there's like a spiritual uh, purpose to, for being in each other's lives or a spiritual connection. Somebody that I used to know. Could be karmic. Somebody. When did things change between us and why? That I used to know. This person would be like, they don't even know you anymore. We could talk for hours and I'd still be fascinated. I feel like you blow their mind. I can't even like get like a grasp on the concept of you or something. You know what I mean? Maybe you're just too deep, too intelligent or something. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm always here for you. All signs point to you. So all the spiritual signs. So yeah, some kind of spiritual connection. I'm always here for you. What's wrong with you? I know that you lied. Something about being caught in a world when we could talk for hours. I'd still be fascinated. Connections being washed over by the divine. Huh. Contradictory messages here. I don't even need your love. You treat me like a stranger. It feels so rough. You didn't have to stoop so low. There isn't a disconnect, even if this person wants to disconnect, or if you want to disconnect, there isn't a disconnect. There's this over frustration, which actually looks like how connected you actually are, right? So there isn't a disconnect, but somebody maybe wants you because they're hurt or something. Let's go into the angelic advice because I mean, if it was me giving advice or just you know with the energy, I would, I would be like, well, there needs to be some like honest, heart to heart, open communication. Um, Maybe somebody's got to do right or make it up to the other person or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what Spirit says. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Or they do. So this could be um, uh, mommy wounds, daddy wounds. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. <laughs> you think you know what's right for you, but the divine knows what's 
what's really right for you. Or um, you might think you, oh, what's it called? You might think you like somebody, but you could be wrong. <laughs> That's from Mean Girls. You might think that you like somebody, but you could be wrong. Um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate might be different from your usual type, your expectations. Yeah. What else, What is that other saying? You know, like, life doesn't give a fuck about necessarily what you want you know uh i mean yeah it's important to know what you want for manifestation and stuff but there's just you know there's a whole sometimes you think you really want something and it's actually a, a blessing that the divine blocks you from it because it's not what's right for you it's not in your destiny it's not your fate it's not you know it's just not in your cards so to speak <laughs> you could not think you like somebody, but you could be wrong. <laughs> Today I am healthy. And also, you could think that you don't like somebody, but you could be wrong. <laughs> Today I am healthy. Today my mind, my heart, my soul are one healthy being. And I will see the possibilities. Anything is possible. My heart is open to any and all possibilities. I'm going to say... So with this, today I'm healthy in my mind, my heart, my soul are one healthy being and I am open, uh, ready to receive a healthy partner, healthy love, healthy relationships. I will see the possibilities because anything is possible. My heart is open to any and all possibilities, even ones that are outside of my uh, usual thinking or my <laughs> dogmatic uh, what thinking I don't know <laughs> okay that is all that I have for you group number five baby if the message is resonated please like the video subscribe if you're not a subscriber let me know how it resonated I love reading the comments until next time bye <laughs>
and pride. Prive? I think it's supposed to say pride. <laughs> I understand you are the only thing that matters, and although I do not deserve another chance, I hope you allow me to make up for it without expectation that you choose me for a partner. Signed, broken hearted. And maybe you should let them sit in that energy for a while, but baby. I came to win. Get ready for it. Could be that they just think that you are the winner, the champion, the conqueror. That you just, you don't just survive, you thrive. Um, that you're going to prosper, that you're going to fly. It could be thinking that you are going out on dates. And it could be vice versa. You're going to have to kind of use your discernment with whatever is going on in your situation. Uh, it could be that they know that they didn't treat you right and they want you to do these things. They want you to go out. Could be on friend dates that I'm necessarily want you to, you know, go get laid or anything like that. But um, or it could be that they are doing this, you know, to heal from a broken heart. But it doesn't necessarily have to be to to heal or to like to move on. It's more, you know, to live their best life, to have fun, to get to know themselves, uh, stuff like that. So, let's see what are some more of their secret thoughts about you. You deserve happiness, right? I was just saying. I feel like they're thinking that you sh they they see you like this. They they want you to do this. They when they come back and they apologize and they grovel on their knees, it's not that they're expecting you to pick them. It's that um, they really are just humbled or remorseful or regretful and want to make it up without any kind of like contingency that. Uh, if they do this, you must choose them or be with them or anything like that. They just want to do it because it's right, because they didn't do it the first time. And you don't have to give them space to do that, because you don't need to give people multiple chances on how to act right, baby. So, But, I mean, that's on you. No judgment. <laughs> Ask me about what's going on in my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm stalking you, and I have obsessive behavior. Okay, to win. Probably because you distance yourself because they weren't treating you right. <laughs> Why don't I know you? Why don't I know what's going on in your life? Why are you not communicating with me? Why are you not speaking on what's going on with you? Why aren't you asking me about what's going on with me? It's like driving them nuts. Why don't I know you? Why don't I know you anymore? What was the song? Oh, it wasn't somebody that I used to know. Nope, that was a different pile. <laughs> huh. I have a gift for you. And also, I just want to point out in this card too, there's something about my precious gift from God. So something about repaying you, repaying the gift, repaying the favor, making it up to you. It was love at first sight. Get ready for it. They're going to come to win. You were always there when I needed you to be. Yeah, you're a good person in there. Weren't. <laughs> they chose not to be. They a choice. I came to win. Don't tell me no. <laughs> I won't take no for an answer. Get ready for it. They're going to try to win. Yeah, they're going to come. They're going to come back and put their all into it. Maybe take you on dates or take you on the proper date, something like that. I came to win. Get ready for it. Should have put you first. You deserve to be nurtured and unconditionally loved. But I couldn't do that at that time. I put everyone else before you. I know that it broke you. I think I've been trying to break you. You deserve to be treated like the goddess that you are. Because you are. You are a goddess, okay? Or God, I cannot believe that I gambled with my precious gift from the gods or from God. I can't believe I gambled with a God or a goddess. I never saw your worth and therefore I didn't value because I didn't see it. I didn't know it was there. I'm dumb. Meh, I'm blind. Meh. Oh, but how's it go? Um, 
I once was lost, but now I'm found from sea to shining sea. No, that's not it. <laughs> Why did I channel that? I once was lost, but now I'm found. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with something. The church. Is that a church song? I once was lost, but now I'm found. Does it not say from the sheet? I think I'm blending two songs together. Now I'll have to look it up after this. It's been a long reading. <laughs> I never saw your worth, and therefore I did not value you. They didn't. They're just being honest with it. I no, I didn't see your value. I didn't value our relationship. I didn't value you as a person. But I feel like they weren't even capable of love at that time. So I don't know if this you maybe woke them up. They had an awakening or something. I now hold you in the highest regard. Well, that's a little. It's a little too late. Uh, spend the rest of my life trying to love you the way you deserve. No longer blinded by ego and pride. Well, we'll see. I understand you are the only thing that matters. I don't know if you're the only thing that matters, but you matter and you're important, baby. And although this person, so this person could be, um, like, what? I heard mucho gusto, but that's, <laughs> I have a lot of gusto. Is that the word? Uh, really good with their words. Very, <laughs> Aries and Venus, very, you know. Um, just dives headfirst into love. You know what I mean? Like, you're the only thing that matters. I'll spend the rest of our lives making up to you. So, we just have to be careful, though, that the energy matches the words. So this person's admitting in the past, like, that energy wasn't there, and now they're giving you words that the energy will be there, but we're just going to have to see where the energy goes. And let's see what, what uh, spirit has to say about it. So, your romance, oracle, angel cards... And affirmations. So this is Spirit's advice on this. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So a lot of chemistry and passion here. This person is very passionate about you. Maybe you haven't expressed excuse me, things physically, passionately. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry. I was just saying there is chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this person maybe is afraid that you're not passionate about them anymore. You know, like they, they're wondering, like, if I come in for this kind of a kiss, you know, is the reality going to be <laughs> like this? Is she even looking at him? No, she's not. She's looking away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Passion. I, th I think you're both passionate towards each other. I just feel like this person's maybe immature or... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm hearing the word dipshit. Um, maybe you thought that the love was unrequited. So now you're angry and now they're going to grovel at your feet. Uh, kiss your ring. Get down on their knees. Kiss your hand. Um, but spirit is... Like a lot of spirit too. It's multiple spirit. And there's no, this isn't baby ch like cherubs, you know, like in a lot of these cards, there's little baby, you know, the little, like little cupids sitting up here. These are like fully grown, like you know, look like they're a hierarchy of angels that are, are uh, watching over and involved. I don't know. Oh, look in here too. This is, this reminds me of like archangel wings or whatever. So... I don't think uh, archangels or uh, this many angels would be in that this involved in this if it's unrequited love or whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think both of you are very passionate for each other. I think maybe you're just in a time where you're focusing uh, like on yourself and self-love. And I would say like keep doing that. That's correct. That's the right path. Okay, let's see what these say. Today, I live in the present. I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. I'll keep a positive outlook, a positive attitude. I will be kind. I'll treat others the way I want to be treated. And I can make a difference and I will make a difference. I can stay focused, work hard, and do my very best at everything I do. Yes, keep reaching those goals. Keep proving people wrong I'm getting or keep proving people that you're the shit and that you're a star and you got, you know, going to do great things because I feel like you are. You can do it and you will do it. 
Okay, I hope the messages resonated with you, group number six. I love you so much. If they did, please like the video, subscribe, uh, leave me comments. Let me know how it fits your story. I love you so much. Until next time, bye.